Arms only. With your back flat and your legs straight, draw the arms into the body around the lower ribs. Remember to keep a loose grip on the handle throughout the warm-up. Body swing. Keep the arms moving and rock over from the hips with a flat back. Aim to get the arms straight before you rock over from the hips. Quarter slide. Now we introduce the legs. Keep your arms and body moving. Make sure the hands are clear of the knees before you start to slide. Half slide. Keep the technique the same, but slide a little further to the halfway point. You should really start to feel your legs pushing from the start of the stroke, called the catch. Three quarter slide. Similar to half slide, but extend a little further to three quarters of the slide. Keep a steady rhythm. At this point, even more of the work is done with the legs. Finally, full slide. Use the full length of the slide. When you get to the catch position, your shins should be vertical and your heels lifted. Make sure the back remains flat so you are not bending forward. Have a loose grip on the handle and keep at a steady rate of around 20 to 22 strokes per minute. When rowing at full slide, let the legs do most of the work. They're the most powerful muscles. We would recommend doing around 30 seconds on each part of the stroke, followed by putting it all together for two minutes so you're fully ready to start your session.